guys. Welcome to Better Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, you know, Will Smith uh, used to be in music. A lot of people probably don't even know that. But back in the 90s, um, I mean, maybe, maybe maybe Gen Z doesn't know or hasn't heard much of his music. Because uh, back in the day, uh, Will Smith and uh, what Fresh Prince, uh, uh, Bel Air times when he was on TV is how he got into acting. But he was known for his music. And then he got into TV and then he got into, into movies. Will Smith will not be remembered for any of those, at least for a lot of people. He will go down in history as the worst simp of all time. Talk about everything you could do to ruin your masculinity. Uh, I, got, I got a couple of stories here, and um, I don't know which one. I'll read this one first. So if you guys remember, I did a story back when he slapped Chris Rock uh, on the face during the Oscars. Um, you know, Chris Rock said a very simple joke about uh, her alopecia and losing hair. And Will said, keep, you know, he walked up on stage without saying anything, slapped Chris Rock across the face, sat down and said, keep uh, my wife's name out your effing mouth. She wasn't his wife. They weren't, they were separated. So not only is he still showing up to events and pretending like everything's fine, but he's been separated with her since 2016, but he still stepped up on stage and white knighted for her. And this is all after she cheated on him, even if they were quote unquote kind of separated. She slept with one of her son's friends who's like 23 years old. So, you know, here's a history. They're married. Some stuff happens, obviously. She sleeps with like a 23 year old friend of her son's. I don't know if that's when they got separated or not, but they, he doesn't go public with the fact that his wife cheated on him. He doesn't go public with the fact that they're separated. Uh, he, he pretends to stay married to her. Then he goes up and defends her uh, against Chris Rock by striking him. Will Smith is probably the biggest cuck slash simp of all time. There's just no arguments to it. He's doing everything. And then, and then after all this comes out, Jada Pinkett Smith says, uh, after Tupac Shakur and I kissed, like, what was that back in like the late 80s, early 90s? Um, she's like, this is the headline here. She's like, he was actually my true soulmate. So basically, Will Smith threw away everything for a woman that really didn't even care for him. Simptastic. Uh, this is from Billboard. Jada Pinkett Smith looks back on Tupac Shakur's kiss, Will Smith, Oscar slap, and more. Uh, she said uh, in a primetime special, Emmy award-winning actress and talk show host sat down with other people, blah, blah, blah. Uh, during the broadcast titled Jada's Story, uh, Pinkett Smith reflected on Smith slapping Chris Rock at the 2022 Academy Awards. She said she didn't even realize he had slapped him until commercial break. And that's when the publicist said, uh, Chris has left the building and he's not gonna press charges. So either A, she was so completely checked out, drunk or on something, she didn't know what was going on or she wasn't even paying attention or thought it was a bit or something. So Will Smith threw away his career and she's like, I don't even know what he was doing. Like I wasn't paying attention. Uh, early in the week, uh, Smith told people that she hasn't spoken with Rock since the incident. Uh, but the comedian approached her shortly after the onstage slap and attempted to apologize for his G.I. Jane 2 joke about her nearly bald head, which caused her uh, caused by her, her alopecia. Chris came down at the end of the stage, tried to apologize to me. He said, I didn't mean you any harm. I said, I can't talk about this now, Chris. This is some old stuff. So Will did this and it wasn't even appreciated by her. She's like, I can't talk about it now, whatever. She didn't even say thank you. Nothing. Uh, uh, elsewhere during the TV interview, uh, Pinkett Smith touched on her past friendship. It wasn't a friendship. Uh, with late rap uh, icon Tupac Shakur, uh, whom she said she met in the late 80s while attending Baltimore School for the Arts in Maryland. Pac was new. It was my sophomore year. He looked over and he saw me and he just targeted me, uh, describing him as charismatic with a beautiful smile. Uh, she said, uh, blah, blah, blah. She downplayed any romantic connection with Tupac but then shared a story about the pair kissing on the back porch. So 
she now not only did she say because I, I watched this a uh, snippet of the interview because I didn't watch the whole thing because who cares, but her snippet was like they kissed, and she said when Tupac went I guess to jail for a short period of time she said I definitely knew he wanted to marry me, or or she said that we could have been married, but she said he like he didn't ask and I knew that um, when he got out of jail he'd probably dump me on my head. So here you've got bad boy um, making the moves on her a little bit. He goes off to jail. He didn't ask her, um, but she knew that if he did ask her, she would have been dumped afterwards. And that that would that's enough to set up the lifetime of that they were probably my true soulmate. This is what so many guys don't realize. And this is what's something we talk about when women have vast experience in relationships. When it was, oh, I had this boyfriend. And some of you guys know this because you go out on a date and all the girl does is want to talk about her ex or this one guy and she keeps bringing him up and bringing him up and bringing him up. This is the danger of having too many partners, too many relationships, too, sleeping with too many men that women don't realize. Now, now men do the same thing. Men will go out and talk about their exes a lot too. It means they're trying to get out in the dating field before they're really mended up from a relationship. But here you've got a woman that's saying that that Tupac from like 1990 whatever is really her true soulmate, even though she got married to Will, she had kids, I guess she's had kids with Will. I don't know their life story because I don't care about these people. But the whole point is it's a great example of how even 20 or 30 years later, she's still thinking about the one bad boy that got that got away. And this is the, and it may be a woman's had a couple of relationships and they weren't a big deal and they didn't get really involved. But if she's really fallen in love or she's dated, you know, some guys that, you know, the bad boys that really broke her heart or she's been out, you know, sleeping with a ton of dudes, you are always going to get compared to the men of her past. Now, something I've dated, look, I've been married twice. I've dated plenty of, plenty of, plenty of women. I don't hold on to the past like that. I don't sit here and think, you know, this one woman could cook better than my current girl or uh, this one woman was better and better. Like I don't, maybe other guys do. That is not my thing. I tend to kind of like, you remember it as, hey, it was, you know, it was, here's what was good. Here's what was bad about the relationship. Moving on. I'm not pining away 20 years later on some girl that got away in high school. Like I don't even remember half their names. And if a lot of you guys have, have dated and it was a long time ago, there might have been a girlfriend you had for six months or a year and you're like, Jenny, Jennifer, what was her last name? You know what I mean? Like guys just don't do the same thing, but women do. Uh, she re, uh, Anyway, she revealed she's been separated. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. And, and she said it during the interview. And yeah, she says he was a soulmate. Imagine if you're Will Smith. Imagine if you're Will Smith right now or any, you know, so many guys go through this, but imagine if you're Will Smith specifically, big music star. Um, I used to listen to his rap back in the day. Um, he had some fun songs, like they were fun hip hoppy. Music star, TV star, movie star. Could have had a great career. I mean, he does have a family and everything, although I, I don't think his kids are quite doing so well. And then you gave it all away for a woman that wanted another man the whole time you were together that slept with a 23-year-old dude while maybe you were still together. Then you got separated. Then you're still pretending to be with her and slapping another dude for making a very simple joke about her. The only thing that would save, I think the only thing that would save Will Smith at this point in time in his career as far as, like we wouldn't buy it, we wouldn't buy it. But if he came out to the media and he's like, you know what? I've been struggling with all these issues and I didn't know how to handle everything because I'm gay. If he came out and said that, a lot of people would be like, oh, that's why he was so emotional. Oh, that's why he stayed with her even though she slept with a, a young dude. Oh, that explains a lot. It doesn't really explain anything, um, but I think it would at least maybe gain him some Hollywood cred again. That's the only way, because other than that, dude is completely out. 
I will. I liked Will Smith's music back in the day. I like a couple of his movies. Some of them are very fun. I I like the I Robot movie. Uh, that's one that I specifically remember of his. Uh, the Bad Boy movies were okay. But Will Smith, um, he's just going to be remembered now as probably the world's biggest cuck. And you know what? He deserves it. He deserves every second of it. Uh, guys, If you, uh, tonight's movie night over on betterbachelor.locals.com. We're going to be doing 13 Ghosts and Phantasm. Going to do a little new, a little old. Uh, for supporters only, it's four bucks, five bucks. Well, it's four bucks a month if you sign up for the year. And I, I stream like, I don't know, every Saturday night we do two movies. So that's at least eight to ten movies uh, uh, that you get to watch a live stream. I turn on the closed captions and I talk over it. And that's where I do my live streams. Uh, and we drink and you guys can buy me shots and we have a lot of fun. So come on over today. Join us. Great community of like-minded men uh, for less than the price of a stupid Starbucks coffee. Uh, you can join us and a great community of guys. All right, guys, I will leave it there and we'll see you in the next one.